Hi, this is Linda Bartolucci with InkStampAndScrap.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a pop and twist card just like these. This card we made on our last Facebook workshop. You can pop over to my Facebook page and check it out. Today we're going to make a variation of that card. So I'm going to grab my supplies. So the now the first thing um, you need to start with is the card base and that measures four and a quarter by 11. And you're going to fold it in half and burnish it. Now for this card, I'm gonna finish the front first because once I make the pop-up insert, it gets a little bit thick to finish things off. So I took the vintage leaves stamps and I stamped them in, um, Delightful Dijon, Cajun Craze, Rich Razzleberry, and Mint Macaron, which go with the current um, Paisley Print Designer Series paper. So I'm going to lay this layer down. Uh, this layer measures four by five and a quarter. I'm making a happy birthday card again have a few fall birthdays coming up. So there we go. I'm going to, I took the Butterfly Basics stamp set. I love the happy birthday font that's in that stamp set. So I'm going to layer that on a piece of the Paisley print. That's the other side. When I measure this, it's an inch by three inches because usually I leave either a quarter or a um, eighth of an inch but I in spacing between the layers but this time I did a half because I really wanted that layer of designer series paper to show up. Now I'm going to put this on a piece of rich razzleberry so that the designer paper doesn't get lost on the card and to add my oops to add my greeting I'm going to use my favorite dimensionals to give this just a little bit of depth. There we go. One, two, oops, and it's stuck. Three. Okay. So now I'm going to layer this on just like that. And I'm going to bring in some of our enamel dots I'm bringing in the um, gold ones from the metallic set and the rich razzleberry ones from the brights set. So I'm just going to put three and then a couple of more just to add a little pop to this. And actually, I think I'm going to put one right in the corner there. There we go. I like that better. Okay. So now I have the front of my card finished, and now we're going to create the pop and twist mechanism that's going to go inside. Now I need to make the pop and twist mechanism, and for that I'm going to use an 8.5 by 10 and 3 quarter sheet of cardstock on the 10 or eight and a half side, I'm going to score at two and a quarter, four and a quarter, and six and a quarter. Then I'm going to flip it and I'm going to score at five and three eighths. Now I'm going to burnish all of those score marks. So right along this score mark, I want to make a mark at an inch and a quarter. And right along this score mark, I want to make a mark at an inch and a quarter. And then on the edge 
of the card. I want to make a mark at an inch and on the edge this side I want to make a mark at an inch. Okay. Now I'm going to use my craft scissors to cut away what I don't need. So there's my inch and a quarter marks. So I'm going to cut along the score line up to the inch and a quarter. And once you start cutting this, this becomes a unique card. It's no longer exactly measured perfect. And that's why the inch and the inch and a quarter are the only measuring that you do because um, after this, we're just going to use the shape of the card to make everything match. So now what I forgot to do is give myself a cutting line here. And now I need to finish making the mechanism. So I have the shape that I want. Now what I need to do is um, fold, actually I'm gonna fold down. I'm gonna fold this down. And what I need you to recognize is that this score line on this part, I'm lining up with the longer, the vertical score line on this part to make one continuous score. And I'm gonna go inside the card with the point of my bone folder, holding this down really tight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make a crease so that it stays where I want it. And then just to be sure that I have that really burnished into the cardstock, I'm gonna go back the other way. So that's one. Now I want this to come down and I want to do the exact same thing. So there we go. Now what you can see is that this will fold up into the arrow that I want for the middle of the card. So this is your pop mechanism. And it's going to, when the card is closed, it's going to pop like that. And then the twist comes across here. And let's line the inside of these. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use the outside as a template. This is the side I want to show. So I'm going to flip it over. This measures three and three quarters by five and a half. I'm going to put it at the top exactly where I want it to be. So see how these are all nice and lined up. Then I'm going to slide it down slightly. And then, so now this is a little bit bigger than the two sides. And then I'm going to flip this over very carefully, not losing my spot. I'm going to bring my pencil back in and I'm going to trace that V. Because remember, now that we cut this, we have a unique pot mechanism. No other one is ever gonna measure exactly the same way. I'm gonna bring my scissors in again. I'm gonna clip along the inside of that line because I don't want the pencil to show because I have the pencil mark on the inked side now. And when I put my fast fuse on, this is going to inset perfectly into the side that I measured against, which was this side. So now there we go. Look at that. Lovely. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side.
Okay, so now we have the inside of the card. Now that's the pop, let's make the twist. The twist starts out at two and three quarters by um, eight, by 11, sorry, two and three quarters by 11. You score it at two and three quarters, five and a half, and eight and a quarter. If you're on my email list, you're getting the uh, measurements and instructions for the pop card. And if you missed that particular email, you can certainly get in touch with me and let me know that you need them. So we're gonna decorate the inside of our pop first. And what we wanna make sure is that the M the M is the side that we're decorating, not the V down here, but the M that pops up. So this is the side I wanna decorate. I'm going to use some of that Paisley Print Designer Series paper that I told you about. So the first thing I'm going to do is take four two and a half squares and put them on here. All right, so now remember I said the M is important, and so are these two ends. They go this way on the card. Now it's time to actually create the pop and twist part of the card. So I'm gonna use my Fast Fuse, and it's gonna go on the lower left and the upper right. I'm gonna turn this just to make it easy for me. And this Fast Fuse is getting towards the end. So the lower left, when you're looking at the card, and the upper right. I mean, really what you need to remember is it's just two opposites. If it makes more sense to do these, that's fine, but one on the bottom, one on the top. So now I'm gonna take my um, twist, and at the edge of the inside, the vanilla piece, I'm going to center this, and I'm going to bring this piece down and let it attach to this. Then I'm gonna fold this over so I have the actual um, pop mechanism the way I want it. And I'm going to bring this over to the other side. So now it's level with the vanilla and I'm going to bring this side down and close up my pop. And now when I open it, it pops and twists. There we go. Make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to bring in the card base that I created and we're just gonna use Fast Fuse. You could use Tear and Tape for this too, but I definitely would not use um, Snail because it's just a little too, um, it's just not sticky enough to hold a card with this much motion. I'm gonna center this in the card. I'm gonna close this, oh, did I? Oh, yay, because I didn't double check. Oh, that was a good save. One, two, I didn't want to have put the whole mechanism in upside down. I would not have had to make the whole card again. I might have had to make the card front if I destroyed it pulling it apart, but we don't have to worry about it. Okay. And now I'm going to close up the card and just let that fall where it does. Make, give it a good squish. And there we go. Pop and twist. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make pop and twist cards. This is the one that we just made. This is the one from our Facebook workshop. And this is a model that I made for a Christmas card. Thank you for watching. This is Linda Bartolucci with Ink Stamp and Scrap. Have a great day.